What's up guys? Today I figured I would do an educational tutorial about this charger here. I have it out of the box already. It's the Lito Kayla L2500. So in my last video I did show this one on screen and I talked about the Zanflare C4 and the C4U. So the Zanflare C4 does the exact same thing this does only this is half the price the Zanflare C4U is shit it's not real shit but it just doesn't do everything this one and the Zanflare C4 does and I know a lot of you know people are gonna get in the comments and they're gonna say oh that's not a good charger and this and that you gotta get the no you don't have to get the real expensive ones you're talking to a seasoned vet here somebody that knows shit because this is the charger I used to use over 15 years ago to build battery cells or build battery packs match cells and everything else and I made it into several magazines with my custom RC builds and stuff like this so uh, this one did the uh, nickel metal hydrate uh, the NICAD, the lithium charges uh, lead acid batteries and this one here is $29.99 so why pay 60 something for the uh, you know Zanflare or more when this gives you everything you need to know a lot of bad reviews a lot of bad comments and uh, it's more or less end user error you know that people don't know what they're doing Here's some, just like the batteries, uh, you know, I'm kind of taken back, honestly, with what's going on in the battery world these days, because I, like I said, I've been out of it for 15 plus years, and I can't believe, you know, I, I hate Chinese made stuff, um, it, most of it's just junk, Japan makes some really good stuff because, uh, they care, but, you know, America needs to bring their stuff back and start making this stuff because at one time I remember back in the 70s you know I was just a kid and uh, you know I heard you know made in China made in you know Japan this that we need to start making our own stuff and stop relying on other countries and I'm not going to, that's a whole different topic but my point is, these Tenergies here, these were good batteries I got, these are 15 plus years old they have uh, a rating of 900 milliamp, they're the RCR 123A's 3.9 volts, I, I can't really see that, but anyway these have not been charged in over 15 years. I had some double A's. I actually had a lot of double A's in Tenergy and triple A's in Tenergy. And out of them, I was able to revive one of them. Even if these cells are dead, you, you can get them to kick back in. Just like, you know, with a nickel metal hydrite too. Uh, NICAD, they're, they're kind of a thing in the you know, at a past, uh, they're not as good, but these are, you know, lithium, they're, they're good batteries. With that said, I bought some Harbor Freight Juice batteries, and they all leaked. So I was in my battery bin, and, you know, I got this in, I got my multimeter out, and I tested them, and then, you know, I seen them leaking, so I just threw them out. So getting on to uh, this charger. Um, it, it's basically the, the Zanflare C4. So you, you can clearly see here it says no. That indicates no battery. And if you put a battery in here and it says no, it's a bad battery. Don't use it. Throw it out. We'll take uh, one of these. I already, uh, you know, cycled these. And we'll go through the modes here. So this is going to be channel one. That's going to light up. And then charge is going to blink. That's going to give you a little time to select over here your milliamps. Now if you're not quick enough to get over here and switch that and I know that went out, I guess I don't have the battery seated right. 
if you need to get back in there and change the milliamps hold and press the mode button and then the current button will cycle from 300 milliamps 5 7 and a thousand milliamps which is equal to one amp after that your battery will start charging as you can see so the number with the V is voltage the MAH is the capacity and uh, if we scan over here to or pan over here to uh, that you can see that's 900 milliamps that gives you the capacity and the runtime of it the MR stands for internal resistance the little H that is the hours and the seconds that it's going to take so you can see that's at four point two volts and it says n so that's what happens now a lot of people get confused with this charger but before we get on to that if you press mode and you hold it and you have the cell in you can cycle to a fast test which will uh, you know charge it discharge it and then recharge it it'll give you the milliamps and you can see it's depleting the battery right now really quick and it's then it's gonna you know discharge and then recharge it and then it will um, display the milliamps down here this uh, 125 MR that's the internal resistance that's pretty high that that's not really a good thing it took two hours and 22 minutes to uh, cycle these two batteries and then uh, there is a if you if I hold and press this again it's called nor test they, it just simply means normal test okay normal test means it's gonna take longer to discharge and then it's gonna take longer to charge that's it so if we place another battery in channel 2 you're gonna see that switch to channel 2 it's gonna give you the same exact display and if we switched it to channel 3 you're gonna see it switch to 3 and then if we do 4 it's gonna to switch to 4 okay with that said the only difference between the C4 and this one when you're on channel 1 all your data is displayed if I switch to channel 4 all your data is displayed for this battery here switch back to 1 it's displayed there and if you had 2 and 3 same deal just uh, you know it doesn't show you all the batteries in a row does the same thing all right so uh, one other thing that this charger has that the C4 has and it's very useful because if you're without power or if you need a power bank you know to recharge your cell phone or whatever this uh, is just the power supply so you're plugging that in there but this is the nice part about the C4 but overpriced and uh, the other chargers the Opus or whatever the hell that one is that everybody seems to like doesn't have this this is a USB type A output so it will output at one amp or 1000 milliamps at 5 volts so this is big enough to recharge your cell phone and other devices uh, and the only other thing I'll mention is you want to take two batteries and you want to put them it doesn't matter what bays they're in but you want to have two batteries in this charger so if you have one and two you know uh, one and four one and three doesn't matter but you want to have two of them in and uh, then your USB output would you take that type A cable and then run it to type C USB into say a uh, cell phone you can use this as a charger to charge that cell phone and uh, again for that reason alone 
it's excellent to have some and by the way you have to have lithium batteries to use uh, this as a power bank but excellent reason to stop buying those little junky power packs or power banks rather and uh, get yourself a charger that has the capability of doing the USB output.